Right, hello everyone and welcome to the Barbarian campaign. Now if you're watching this back on my video, you will notice the quality 1080p is not available. That is because due to time constraints and various other things, we're live streaming this one. Um, so the people on the mm -hmm. Wednesday live stream are thoroughly confused because they're, they're like, what's this? This, does, this doesn't normally happen. Um, so if you want to yeah. see it in 1080p, you're going to have to go and see Chad's version. Indeed. So go check his out on his channel. And yes, please do. I guess we'll get started. Indeed we shall, yes. How many bugs are we expecting? What are bugs? I'm uh, not so much expecting bugs as annoying people with swords attacking me. So are we saying Rome 2 doesn't have bugs, it has features? Um... So the crash to desktop whenever it feels like it feature? I don't, can't say I have that one. The, uh, the, the desync because... It makes oh, sense to just stop, make things work differently in the middle of the battle feature. I, I, yeah, we have had a desync rebellion on multiple occasions, haven't we? That that was the strangest battle ever. It's like, where are you going? Well, your your units, Mal. It's like, I'm, I'm going straight at the enemy. No, you're not. They're, they're running past you. No, they're, they're not. Yes, they are. No. I swear, I swear <laughs> they were doing a conga line past me. I was waiting for the guy at the back to go, tequila, just as he went past, but it didn't happen. Yeah, it was a, a tad odd, to say the least. See, but you know, Luna obviously works in the industry. A bug is just an undocumented feature. Yes. I think at, at where I used to work, it was only a bug if you couldn't live with it. If there was a workaround, it was just a feature. Yeah. I'm sure my load screens have got longer as they've patched more into this. Mm-hmm. You're not the only one. But then again, the turn, the end turn times have come down exponentially, so I'll let them off. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. The uh, go make your cup of tea whilst you click end turn that was uh, release was yes, thoroughly boring although, to try and live stream. Although I always used to love um, playing uh, Empire with the um, oh god, was it the uh, the Turks because they would literally just spend the entire time. You'd, you'd wait for two to three minutes and then they move one army from one building to another and that was it. That was the whole two minutes. What they'd been thinking about. And then he did that almost every single turn. I swear, that army had so much mileage on it but no battles. I can't remember but, what was happening. We seem, were being attacked by everyone. Yeah, I seem That's to remember my armies were thoroughly outclassed. Warriors all! Hmm. Well, as you can see, I'm, I'm looking at Bibract because... We were going to go there. Now, one thing that um, a few friends have mentioned is the fact that the army outside Bergdilla um, is actually in a uh, force march mode, so we could ambush them. But the trouble is, is my army that's in there is not that great. It's whether you get that yellow line of reinforcement from your town. Yeah. If you get that yellow line saying reinforcements are coming, it's probably worth doing. But if you don't, it's not. Yeah. So, the problem is, is it means that um, we've got these guys up here. And my guys are working in the Mossus to try and improve things. Which is certainly happening because the Mossus is at minus 36, but they are starting to improve. Because people keep setting fire to crap, which just gets on my nerves. I remember I've got now. a... Ah, oh, here we go. There was rebels everywhere. That was what was happening. Yes, that was what was happening. And that desync rebellion up north. Nasty, nasty bastards. And for some reason, this game doesn't draw rebel armies on the map, only things you're at war with. Yes. So you have to manually hunt down where they're hiding. Don't you, don't you know that, you know, they're part rebels, part ninjas? Yeah, there's the, those shogunate rebels. Highly yes. trained in ninja skills, along with Indeed their diplomacy methodology. Indeed. Now, in Bergdilla, I've got three or four turns to try and build up my army, up to a 17-stack army. They've got a 14-stack army. But they do have two Celtic... Celtic scorpions, even. I think I've actually so moved everything and just have to click end turn. Yeah, there's a distinct possibility, I think, because you said the amount of battles that we're going to have after you click end turn, probably yeah. a good idea to end the episode there, so... That, that I think, rings bells. 
Yes, indeed it does. It's about the only thing that does. Right, so, press the button, sir. Boom. Oh, wait. No, as usual, there's always someone that needs promotion. promotions. Uh, I no. really wish it would actually just, like, have a big glaring icon that says, Promotions awaited. Or even better, just say, auto-promote people, you know? Just like, yeah, you're promoted, whatever, whatever. Yeah, promoted, bye, goodbye, leave me alone. Right, here goes. Boom, Car Carthage, the Macedonians, who am I waiting for? I'm just looking at all these huge factions that are going to cause us no end of trouble and we can't even manage the barbarian tribes. I know, I know. It's, it's, I don't know if it's something to do with the Total War series, but any time I, I get involved in France, ask for huh? it's always a major nightmare. With your always considerable just such strength. a pain in the bottom. Um, the Gibraltar and the equivalent tip of North Africa want a non-aggression pact. Really? Okay, I won't sail halfway around the map and engage in someone that's nowhere near me. Have a non-aggression pact. Your wisdom in this... Weird-ass diplomacy in this game, I swear. Yeah. yeah. Although I was thinking, actually, about why oh. I have such problems with this particular game. Well, not this game, but Total War series. And the way that I always seem to end up at war with everybody. And I think part of it is to do with how much I enjoy playing Evil Genius. Because my, the closest, my, my version of diplomacy is do what I tell you or I'll kill you. And I think that's part of the problem. It probably doesn't help that we picked factions that seem to everyone seems to dislike. I, I think the two barbarian tribes, everyone in the area either dislikes one yeah. or the other. And so when you ally the two, they all just dislike you. I, I suspect if we played, like, Arverni and Carthage, we wouldn't have had this problem. A distinct possibility. Um, you've got more right. friends coming to your disco. Oh, God in heaven, look at that. Now we've got the Cantabri, thanks to this hatchet face bent here outside, who's war maidening up and doing all sorts of things. So she's going to flip and have to... Uh, cop a few problems let's see right can we assassinate him what's that chance oh two or three percent oh how can i not go for that god damn it man so yeah the yep yeah, another army so the um, the celtic eye and now the cantabri but up here Let's see what we've got. So we've still got the Carnutit's War Maiden, who really needs to seriously bugger off. Rawr! And somebody said to me, why don't you just get loads of uh, mercenaries? And I said, well, I don't actually have loads of money. Yeah. Well, oh, with, just with get Mal. Just get, yeah, yeah. And then they said, yeah, just get Mal to lend it to you. It's like, uh-huh, okay. I, I have 103 in the treasury and get 91 next turn. There's your answer, boys and girls. But I might hire some mercs, actually, and go out and twat some people. We could hire the Pied Piper and he can bring his rats. That's probably about the extent our budget will stretch to. Yes, indeed. Right, let's see if I can assassinate their guy. No, 1%, 4%, 1%. You know what? I'm not going to do that. But what I think I might do... No, stop assassinating people. Go away. Is I might hire some mercs. Gallic Warriors, Gallic Clippity Clops, Gallic Light Horse, 285, 285. Which is the better? No, nope, one's. They're both exactly the same, okay. We'll order them. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's all, that's pretty much it. But it's a 17 stack army. Let me order them. Oh, you've got units on order again. I'm looking at your 17 stack army and seeing about 10. I'm yeah. Going, where's, yeah. The, where's the rest? Yeah, I'm just I'm just in the process of ordering. Okay, that should give me 17 out of 20. And then we can go and kill people. 
There we go. Right, the good news in is I have mercenary Gallic clippy clops for you to deal with. Awesome. But it means also that I'm gonna have to leave my army out of the town and I could lose Bergdilla as a result. But the problem is hmm, now this is gonna be a tricky one. I think I may have made a mistake and shouldn't have hired them because the problem is is the fact that if I attack any of these three armies outside, they're going to be supported by the others. And the others is a 14 stacker, a 8 stacker, and an 8 stacker. What do you reckon? Can the Keltiki guy actually reach the furthest Cantabri army? Um, I think he's what, outside one? of his reinforced circle. No, he... Oh, that's a good point, actually. So you'd end up facing the 16 units of the Cantabri. No, no. If I go to um, the champions, if I go of... to the eight of twenty. They, um, they, they will attack. Let's see what happens here. That's really no, weird because on the map they're not in the reinforced circle. Well, the thing that's even weirder is that when I select my army. Ah, that's why, because he's in recruitment mode. That'll be why. Yep, you can't I'd have him. to cancel the recruitment. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do on this one. Because if I cancel the recruitment... Are you I'm at war with lose... the Sistani? Um, who are... What do you mean, am I at war with the Sistani? Who aren't I at war with? They're on your southeast border of Bodegala. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Um, let's see, Sistani. Yeah, at war. Okay, I managed to get peace with them somehow at some point. Right, and they absolutely hate me. Minus one hundred and twenty-five. But yeah. Now, let's see. No, they rejected my offer of peace, as expected, you miserable bitches. <laughs> so, and they've got two bloody Kentar. I've got a Kentarbi war maiden and a Kentarbi enemy scout right outside my flipping uh, thing, along with a Sistani scout as well. Very annoying indeed. I'm just wondering if it's worth staying put. Probably best because, at the moment. Yeah. I'm going to stay put for the time being, but... We've also... Oh, God, what's this? Yeah, this is starting moving up with two armies as well. I think... I think, like I said, I would... If I ever meet the person who came up with the AI for the NPCs, I would give their testicles an extremely big shoeing. <laughs> Right, the Swords of Sagomo can be recruited with more. I've got good slingers. I could... No, I'll... Um, let's see. I'll have to bribe Will Overguard to give him a clip around the head next time he sees him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, se I'll, send, a, I'll send a tweet to Will saying, please slap this person. Um, so, oh, Jesus Christ, really? Recruitment four? What the hell? Why is it going to take four turns to recruit a horse? Not sure about that one. Okay. Where were you looking? The Mosses? Yeah. Um, it's the same province as Berdigala, so it'll be putting them in the queue after the Berdigala armies. Oh, buggers. Okay, well, we'll just have to keep going then. Um... But I could bring down my mini men, but there's there's no point really. I might just keep him with the swords of Sagomo to keep at least one area in my ownership. So we'll have to wait and see. Hmm. Oh look, we've got the Who's this? The Celtiki. And the Celtiki. Also looking to attack me. How utterly wonderful. 
need to pick Tony's to actually do something rather than sit up yeah. there with two armies. Yeah, sitting up there picking their flipping noses, doing nothing. Bunch of tosses. And the thing that's kind of ironic in my Rome single player campaign, I'm just actually starting to attack the Pictones of Rome. So it's kind of slightly therapeutic in some way. So I shall kill them all and wear them as a hat. Anyway, um, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Uh, let's have a look at my technology. I'm in the process of researching mints. After dinner mints, always very important for warfare. Waffer thin. Waffer thin indeed, yes. Do not mess with the waffers. Okay. There's another army of 13. Oh god, they've got Iberian ballistas. That sounds like a coffee, doesn't it? The Iberian ballista. Okay. And they're going to be at 20 of 20 in three turns. So... You know what, there's nothing I can do moving on. But the good news is that when we do fight in Bergdilla, I do have loads of clippy clops for you. Oh, stop sabotaging Versantio. That's what I'm talking about, about the NPCs and just that kind of thing. It's, it's just, just like, their infinite money. I know. And therefore infinite success and therefore infinite rank and you can't do anything about it. All right, here comes a battle. Except they're probably going to run away. I oh, know they are staying and fighting. Oh, here we go. Oh, they got a horse. Lots of horse. Oh dear. Okay. Square. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, R wrong era. Damn it. 12, 12, 12, 40, 40, 40. Oh heavens, that's a lot of light horse. Yeah. Okay. For my rather decimated spear yeah! army. Oh no. Who, who, are we for, who is it? Oh god. Nori rebels. Oh, the rebels again. Is this like, we've just lost the battle and now we've replenished all our numbers in double quick time? No, this is just a different rebel army that decided to rebel somewhere else in the nation. Really? Yeah, you can't keep these barbarians under control. The only way to keep them under control is just to kill them. It's to shut up as Rome and kill them. Next time we need to pick more civilised factions that actually have armies. Sorry? Next time we need to actually pick more civilised factions that actually have armies rather than just great unwashed hordes. Indeed, yes. All right, there's a slight problem this like with this one. Oh dear. The um, the reinforcement army comes on behind them. Oh. Spear levy! Ready. That could be interesting. So as soon as Sons it comes on, wounded. I'm going to be giving it to you. Right, you are, boss. Warriors grouped, sword masters. Club levy. Ready. I'm waiting by the reinforcement area. Yeah, they got short swords, Warriors of skirmishers, slingers, light horse. Field artillery. They've got spear nobles as well. Flammable round. Oh no, that won't be any good. Okay, are we ready? We are ready. Scorpion. Please tell me these are in range. Oh, not quite. Our reinforcements have arrived. Yay! Dear brothers, Celtic tribesmen, Germanic youths, oh, how lovely. Let me on. Thank you. Yeah, you're just going to have to chase them because they're coming straight for me. Okay, we're running. Spread these out a little bit more. Hmm. If we spread those lot out like that, and then we'll put these spears 
find them. Then the archers at the rear. Dudes! So these cavalry units on the flank I'm going to struggle with. Really? Yeah, I see them. I'm liking the little trail of bodies that my bolt throwers are causing. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Tequila! What? Oh dear, where are they going? They're pushing left. Uh, your, your right flank. I'm trying to move my guys up as quickly as possible. You have our spears? Alright! Spear levy! Oh. Uh, the men are wavering. I got charged in the flank by the cavalry. Ouch. I'm moving my guys up as fast as I can. Kill, kill, kill. And I forgot to put my ranged Warriors units on, not ready. running away like an idiot. All right. <laughs> Our general is under attack. Oh. Yeah, these guys are just going to collapse horribly. An entire unit has perished. I'm trying to move up as quickly as I can, mate. Yeah, no, it's fine. Swordmaster! We'll get to start hitting the Celtic slingers and skirmishes at the rear as well. They just had way too many cavalry for me to do anything about. Mm -hmm. Chasing these skirmishes towards you. Yep. Yeah. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Pull back. Our men flee the field of battle. Yep, generals this run away. This is a shameful display. Lovely. Because of the horses, you know. As you say! Dudes! Run, Kosher! Ah, cavalry are gonna run down Our my units. units have been discovered! Oh, it's been a bit in the centre. I hate this new Rappers skirmisher ready. AI that just permanently runs them away. Really? Charge. Yeah, they've got it set so they can run away, and of course, all the units run vaguely at the Our same speed, so you can never catch them. This uh -huh. is a shameful display. Kill, kill, kill! Spearmen! Ah. We serve Germany! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Yeah, my club's got slaughtered by the cavalry as I thought they might. These javelins won't be far behind. Uh -huh. And there goes my final spear unit. Withdraw! Our men flee the field of battle. I think I've just taken battle. out their, their horse. This is a shameful display. Yeah, I think I just finished off their horse. There's another. Uh, oh yeah, no, there's a unit on the left, coming after your ranged unit. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. Ah, oh. the cavalry's running Warriors! away from my. Oh, they're coming back for another charge. Okay. Well, I'll just throw some more javelins at them then. That's Our fair, men hey. flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Go on, youths, have them. Warriors, throw weapons. Charge! Great battle! Oh, no, they've broken as well. You'd want to give me the ranged units at the back and I'll micromanage them. Yeah, sure thing, mate. Hang on. Can I give them back? Gift button should be there. Yeah. Tremble before us! Forward! Cavalry yeah, coming around there. the left. Yeah. Run, Cashew! 
charging those spearmen. Yeah, we're going to go in with the spears. Have we counter tactics? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Okay, let's go for it. All right, I've grouped up to javelin down these swordsmen as much as possible. Is they going to cause yep. the spears issues? Mm-hmm. Master, reload! Now! Uh, I've got to get my swordsmen and spear nobles. Attack! For Germania! I'm trying to use my longbows on the horse. They've got the range for it. Alright, that's the swords down. Okay, I'm moving up oh, I'm nearly out of javelins. I'll come up on the side of the spear nobles rather than deal with the slingers. Yeah. Because they're the bigger threat. Okay, mate. These spearmen are standing around doing nothing. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, there they are. Okay, go, you, um, One of our units has used all its ammunition. Nothing. Germanic youth! Yeah! Orders! Hakra! Gonna bring in the spear nobles. Yeah, we're gonna hit them from the other side as well. Okay. No. Yeah, there we go, they're starting to break. Come right round on the back of them that's open. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Missile warriors! Germanic warriors! Germanic youth! Spears! Death warriors! Oh, no, 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 go down the back here, man. The enemy general is dead. Nice. Get running! Who kill, kill, kill? Then this slinger unit is just going to keep running away. We are They're bringing the longbow the hunters forest. in to go after the skirmishers. Well, I think we managed to pull this one out of our arse. Well, we should have won it a bit more comfortably, but all my javelins running away because I've got to take them off a of skirmish mode broke the line up horribly. Nope. Come on, you lazy sods, run. Like we're just jogging along. I need to engage yeah. sprint mode. Yeah! Uh -huh. They might be closing at about a millimeter an hour. Yeah. They're about to hit the edge of the map, so it'll be a Come game on. over as well. Get as javelin as range and throw it in their backs. Charge! I'm trying to bring my longbows up because I've got the range. Come on! I doubt they'll get in place. That's close enough for them to throw at their back, surely. And a Celtic Slinger as well. Come on, throw the spears, you can always poke them with the melee ones. But there's that one guy that's running out with the standard to club him round the head. There we go. 
that magic or a load of them yeah. turn around to get stabbed in the gut. Yeah, pretty much. And, oh, look at that. I'll turn to fight on the map edge and get brutally slaughtered. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's much of that army left. Yeah, well, that's what you get if you rebel. Two of the range units didn't even kill one thing. <clears throat> because they were too busy changing formation. <laughs> changing formation, changing formation, changing formation. Oh yeah, whatever. Oh, you better die. Some slingers survived. Uh, from my army, I lost the club levy, one spear levy, and the two scorpions, but everything else managed to just about cling to survival. Excellent. Including the general somehow, I think. Oh. The All Father guides my steps. A good thing, I guess. Ready for orders. Right, you can jump in the town. I've never seen an army with so few men in each unit. <laughs> There's like eight in most of them. So, <laughs> not so much an army as it is a, a, a rough shod mob, so to speak. Yeah. How can I help? Come, How far can these guys move? Reasonably mm. far. I tell you, this bloody bird, birdie gala has been nothing but trouble since I took it. Just constant harassment. You have further orders? Mental note, don't take coastal towns. <laughs> oh, be praised. How can I help? Alright, I'm just gonna sit just inside On my border. Move, lads. In ambush. Get moving. Ooh. Surprise will be our advantage. They can come for Tully Ferdum if they want. It's going to give them a nasty surprise. Oh, that sounds good. Right, let's see what the AI gets up to, shall we? Let's do that. Brace yourself. Stupidity is coming. Yes. Like that. What on earth is he doing? Oh, okay, the other army did come down. Oh. Okay. It looks like. Oh, crikey. Oh, who's this? Should be your two armies and your garrison against the Adui? Yeah. The Minion Men. Well, it's not my two armies, it's only one army. Oh. Yeah. Have you got a retreat option? Um, yes I have. I shall retreat. I don't know where the hell, literally, that huge stack army just appeared out of nowhere. It came all the way down from Bibaract. War! Okay, well Our this is slightly better. Demand it. Our now I've got deployed 2020, you expect to see mewling like reinforced a woman. by 1261. And he's got 239, so... The Bruichi, and the game who just I managed crashed. to get peaced with, have uh, just declared what you just crashed. Yes. Excellent. Fault to number GG one. GG game. GG game. To the B-Rack back screen whilst we fix this. Right. There we go. They, they can hear us again now. Okay, so... The subject for discussion is that myself and Mal were thinking that due to the frustrating and crashing nature of the unwashed horde that is the Barbarian campaign, uh, we were thinking of maybe doing a different campaign. Like, so ending that current one, possibly with a crash and maybe a uh, an explosion in the background, and just say, yeah, let's just let's just nuke Europe and move on, and possibly go for a Rome and Carthage um, co-optative. 
which could be a very, like a mouse said, an anti-history um, situation. So, you know, we could have situations where I'm dealing with Greece and Asia and Mao is dealing with Africa and then we basically carve up Europe between us. So we wanted to get your opinions in chat. What does Thou think? Well, I know what we'll do. We'll put the this discussion on the end of the other video uh, with the caveat that live streamer lazy and can't bother to type anything and see what YouTube okay. wants to say in comments. And yeah, then fine, fine. as a side thing, we'll start up the Rome Carthage campaign now if you want it, if you're available. Of course, yes, I have a window in my schedule. And then it can either be a one-off or not, depending how it goes and what people think. Yeah, 